What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here and we're dropping our position outlook video a little late this week. We have a little bit more of a uh, new series on the channel that's going to kind of push some things back and push some things forward. So I hope you guys understand. Um, I will be gone, however, on Thursday and Friday and for the weekend. So I will not be uploading on those days. This will be my final upload of the week so i hope you guys enjoy today's position outlook is gonna be about the safeties we're gonna be talking gerard wilson jared wilson whatever you want to call him and ronnie harrison and a little bit about cody davis as well to discuss how these two men are going to be doing in 2019 for the back half of the jacksonville jaguars this is the 2019 positional outlook for the safeties so first and foremost, let me get this part out of the way. I buy in completely on Ronnie Harrison. I think Ronnie Harrison's a great player. I thought when he was coming out of college, he was a fantastic player. And I think he's shown signs last year that he has potential to be a really good player. You know, you had Sean Gibson, Barry Church, some replaced, some injured, but Ronnie Harrison did get his playing time last year. And I think he made the most out of what he was given. This is going to be his full first year as a 16-game starter, so I'm really interested to see how he is going to be doing, you know, all season long and hopefully into the playoffs. Now, I'm not expecting these guys to be completely dominant players. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't expect Ronnie Harrison and Jared Wilson to be the vocal point of our defense. You know, this is where people say this is where the Jags have a weak spot. It's their safeties. But it's not like a weak spot to where it determines if we are going to win or lose games. I think that these uh, two safeties are good enough for what they are and what they bring to the table to help us win because they're just elite players all over the field on this Jaguar defense. And I think that, you know, with all of you guys that are really worried about Jared Wilson, and we'll talk about him here in a little bit, you know, stop. Just stop worrying so much. You know, we got Jalen, we got AJ holding it down in man coverage, DJ Hayden as well, who I think will be a very solid piece uh, to the puzzle next year, that I don't think these safeties need necessarily to do that much I think they need to step up in the run game I think they both kind of lack that physical strength to you know be a good contributor to the run game as far as that goes but you know I think in the past game just if they just do their job to their full potential I don't think that this will be a hardcore problem I don't think we're going to be looking at plays and saying oh this happened because Ronnie Harrison messed up or this happened because Jared Wilson messed up I think that these guys are good enough for what they are to help the Jaguars win in 2019 now Ronnie Harrison he is a hard hitting safety but he's not the greatest in the run game he also has good ball hawking ability he did get that interception on Thursday night he had one interception last year and it's going to be very interesting to see how all of his intangibles come together through a full offseason knowing that he has the opportunity to start at that safety position it's going to be fun to watch for Ronnie Harrison and like I said I am not worried even in the slightest bit about Ronnie Harrison so I'm going to come in with a lot of confidence for that boy I think that he has all the potential and uh, all the traits really for a successful safety in the NFL I think he's not the biggest safety by any means but you know it's not like he lacks size you know he's he's just kind of more on the smaller end of the safeties he's just not huge you know what I mean so I don't think his size plays necessarily a huge factor next year and again I think Ronnie Harrison will ball out and have a very solid 2019 campaign now we're going to be talking about the guy that everybody has been talking about, Jared Wilson. Jared Wilson got this contract extension that Jags let Sean Gibson and Barry Church go. And a lot of people were thinking, you know, Jared Wilson, solid signing back. He's going to be a solid depth safety as long as we try and get one of these safeties that are available in free agency or in the draft. And then the, you know, free agency goes by, the Jags don't make a move for a safety. Okay, you know, we're going to draft a guy really early, try to get him and to give him some competition with Jared Wilson. The draft goes by, we don't even draft a safety. And now Jared Wilson is slotted in as a starting safety, and everybody everywhere is like, oh my god, he just does not fit the defense. He's gonna do just fine. You know, you can't have elite players at every level of the defense every year, and I think that's where Jags fans are getting a little greedy. The year in 2017, we had elite defenders literally everywhere. 
at the linebacker, at the defensive line, at the corners, at the safeties, like everybody around was elite. You are not going to get that nine times out of ten in this league. You know, you are going to have some weak spots. You know, this year we kind of have a weak spot as far as our linebackers go and our safeties. I would say those are two probably of our biggest, weakest links this year. And yes, Jared Wilson probably will struggle to begin the season. No lie about that. That's 100% probably true you know he might have to find his footing a little bit because I don't even think he expected to be in the spot where he is but obviously the coaches believe in him and it's one of those cases where it's like if the coaches think that he's best for the team who are we as fans to question that you know what I mean so I don't really doubt Jared Wilson I'm taking a step back and saying you know if the coaches really like this guy and they really think he could be our starting safety and he could ball out and do his thing by all means I will have all the faith in the world in him. But the second he goes to shit and he starts playing like Jonathan Cyprian, his name going to be put on blast on the YouTube channel because I knew that this wasn't a good idea. But as of now, I'm going to say, all right, they know something we don't know. They're really fine with these young safeties holding it down at the back end. We will see how they do. And that's kind of how I judge these safeties this year is that I'm kind of taking a step back. Because these are these are two guys right now that you really don't know about. Because Ronnie Harrison, yes, he got some playing time. Jared Wilson got some playing time last year too. But as far as consistent playing time, neither one of these guys have had it. You know, in every other position group for the Jags, there's been a guy that has had some consistent playing time and has been a starter for, you know, a while, whether for the Jags or somebody else. But these guys are truly, truly young guys, unheralded, don't know what you're going to get out of them. And it's a boomer bust. You know, we're going to have those two out there and we're trusting both of them. You know, obviously both were drafted by the team to be that guy, to hold it down and to do their job to hold down the back end because we have really solid corners. We have a really solid pass rush. This team should be able to come together at the right time and they should benefit from those around them because there are superstars literally walking amongst you like Jalen Ramsey, AJ Boye, Calais Campbell, Yannick Ngakwe. You know, all these guys are legends in their own right. And these are two guys that are going to have to benefit from playing around all of these elite caliber guys. You know who's a good example of that? I'd like to say Aaron Colvin. I'd like to say Aaron Colvin's a great example of that. He was really good in Jacksonville, and I think he benefited from those around him. The Jalens, the AJs, you know, those guys helped him out to be the player that he was. And then he went out to Houston, he didn't do too much. Now with all these uh, these two young guys, you know, Jalen and AJ, though they don't play safety, you know, Jalen dabbled a little bit in safety, I think they're going to have to kind of help these guys bring them along and say, hey, we're going to do our job, just do your job, and we'll be all right, we'll be straight. And I think that's kind of going to be their job, and it's going to be a wild ride because we really don't know what we're getting out of these safeties. I hope we get something good. I hope it's a boom and not a bust. But the safeties are definitely the most confusing position for the Jaguars heading into 2019. I'm not sure what to expect. Let me know what you expect by leaving your comment down below on what you think of Ronnie Harrison and Jared Wilson being our starting safeties heading into 2019. And that was my Jaguars positional outlook for the safeties. What'd you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody outworking me. Them's just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.